All right, here we go with lab six. I'm going to title this part D, even though it's no longer the review. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about right now is that we've got all these styles here, right? Here they all are. Um, and we've talked about inline styles and we've talked about internal styles. This is an internal style sheet. Um, is there an inline style here? No, there's not, but that's okay. Uh, the slideshow will explain what an inline style looks like. This is an internal style sheet. And now I'm going to show you what an external style sheet looks like. So I'm going to come over here um, right next to my index. I'm going to right click and choose new file. And I'm going to name this new file style.css. Now I'm noticing here in my file hierarchy that this style.css is not inside my picture frame folder. I can see that by this little line here, right? If I close the picture frame folder, I can still see it. I want it to be inside my picture frame folder. So I'm going to move it in. Yes, please. And now I can see this line which shows my file hierarchy. And I can see that the style.css lives right beside the index and these other things. So I am going to copy everything here. Whoops. Actually, I'm not going to copy the style tags. That's an HTML element. So I'm going to copy everything that is a CSS rule. Actually, I'm going to cut it. Control X. And I'm going to go to the style.css document and I'm going to paste it. Save. So now when I save my index.html and go back to it, let me go this way. Look, all my styles are gone because they're over here. So how do I get my index to recognize that style sheet? Well, there's a link. And it goes here in the head tag. Let me get rid of these. I don't need that anymore. But in my head tag, I'm going to add a link tag, L-I-N-K. So this link tag is an empty container. And it has two attributes. And the first one is going to be the relative attribute. So it's just basically telling my browser, what is this link relative to? That is the rel equals, oops, equals style sheet. So essentially, I'm just telling my browser that this link is relative to a style sheet. And now I need to direct my link to that style sheet. So that's an href attribute. You've used this one before, href equals. And now I'll put the name of my style sheet right in between these quote marks. You can see already I've been shown in the drop down list what that would be. So there it is. Now I'm going to do another save. And look, you probably saw that happen. Everything is back to normal. So that's a really great way of linking it. There are sometimes some people like to scooch their style sheet into the assets folder. Um, and of course, if I did that, I would have to have a path here that said assets. So now I've got my style sheet linked and I'm happy. And this is called external style sheets. Again, this is an empty tag, like some of the other empty tags you've seen. So it doesn't have a closing tag. The next thing I want to do is let's take a peek at this in the browser. And I'll just make this bigger. So I'm going to right click on this and inspect it. Now, one of the things that I've shown you before, and you can hover over these things to see what the box styling is. Um, if you see that orange area, that's the margin. Now, there's the margin on the H1, the orange area, and there's the margin on the body. So this browser, this is Chrome, uh, just added that stuff to my website without even asking me. And 
I think it would be nice to start from a baseline. Um, Chrome adds that amount. Who, who knows what that amount is? It's some amount that looks like about 1M. And this looks like it's about also 1M. Um, but maybe Safari adds a different amount. And maybe uh, what's the new Explorer? I can't remember. Maybe that browser adds another amount. They're not all the same. And I would like for all my websites that I design to look the same for from every browser. So I'm going to teach you how to set that up in your code. The first thing I'm going to do is say what we're asking the browsers to do is something called normalizing. Uh, I would like to normalize my code for every browser so that it looks the same. So I'm going to come over here and go to a new internet window and I'm going to do a search for normalize, normalize CSS. And you can see already the first link is make browsers render all elements more normally. <laughs> render more elements more consistently. So I'm going to down, download this. All right, let's add a tag uh, comment code that says uh, above this. Let's see, this is an HTML comment. So I want to add a link here that will normalize all elements so that they look alike in all browsers. Oops, those were already there. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the website and we'll look at it. So if I save this, either by typing Control S on Windows or Command S on a Mac, I have the option to add that to my week five lab. So that, let me just make sure I'm in the right folder. Week six lab, I beg your pardon. Um, so I'm going to add it to my picture frame practice, and I want it to be right here in this uh, root directory, right next to the index and the styles. So there it is, and now you'll be able to see it here, normalize.css. So let's link it. It's going to be link space, and here's my HTML attribute, rel equals, oops, pardon me, equals quote uh, style sheet because that's what it is it's a see it it's a dot CSS style sheet and then href equals and I will choose normalize oh let's close that and then go take a look at it so there it is um, what could I do to show you what that changed? I can, let me get rid of that. I can show you the French one. Oh, well the French one, let's see, I haven't put my styles. Let me copy this, control C, and put it in the French one, control S. So here is the French one with no normalizing happening. And here is the English one. Did you see that little jag? It simply took away those margins that they gave me. So my advice is that from now on, you add this normalize.css to all of your websites. I'm going to go here in my index and copy the normalize. Control C, and I'm going to get it on my French version as well. Save, and that's English. Refresh. Oh, it didn't. Oh, yes, it did it. Refresh. There it is. I don't want to translate this, but look, it did. Let's go back to the French. Um, so the beauty here, something you are maybe noticing or maybe not, is that no matter which page, no matter how many pages I create for my website, 
as long as I add these links at the top, let me beautify this to make it look beautiful. There, that's better. As long as I add these links to the top, all I have to change is the style.css. It's the same thing we've been doing on the CSS Zen Garden. It's pretty cool, huh?